Hey guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I'm in a little bit of a different spot today. I want to give you guys a view of my other side of my room. Plus I have all my Christmas decorations up. So I figured it'd be a cute little change of scenery and so you guys could see my Christmas things everywhere. Today is day five of the 12 days of Christmas countdown. And as you guys, if you don't already know or if you have heard in previous videos, every day from now until Christmas, December 25th, I will be putting out a video, a Christmas related video every single day for 12 days of Christmas countdown with all of you guys. So you'll be able to tune into my uh, channel every day at my normal upload time, 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to see a Christmas-related vlog slash video um, all the way up until Christmas Day. And I will actually have one coming out on Christmas Day too, so don't, don't be worried, you will get to see a video on Christmas also. So, today, for day five of the 12 Days of Christmas Countdown, I'm going to tell you guys my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. And I actually put these in a specific order, so you will get to hear them uh, numbered from 10 to 1. I'll start with my, not my least favorite, but my least favorite of my 10, and then work my way up to my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Let's do it. Okay, so starting off with number 10 on the list, we have A Christmas Story. So I, I definitely just put this on there because, number one, I always watch it because it's on all day Christmas Day. Uh, but my favorite part of the whole movie and why I still put this on the list, even though it's like overplayed Christmas, whatever, um, is the part in the beginning where he dresses up, Ralphie dresses up his little brother in like all of his snow stuff and he has his arms up. He's like, I can't put my arms down. I can't put my arms down. That's my favorite part of this movie. And also obviously the thing in the bathroom where he's like decoding like the, the quiz or whatever on that radio talk show. And he figures out what it is, whatever, then he like swears he has to eat soap, all that stuff. Um, also when he comes down in the bunny, the bunny uh, onesie, that's classic. So I had a book or story on there. I also have actually been to the Christmas Story house. Uh, it's not actually very far from me. It's somewhere in Ohio. And one year after we competed in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame competition, the Rock Off, we went to the Christmas Story house and you actually get to like walk around and like see where they shot everything and all of like everything is set up and decorated for Christmas, obviously all the time. But like you get to see every room in the house, they like recreated it um, and you can walk through it. It's very cool. If you if you ever get the chance to go, you definitely should. Number nine, we have another classic, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I, I didn't wanna pick like a bunch of cartoons. Obviously I grew up watching the cartoons. So I just tried to pick like a few of my favorites of the cartoons and I always like the Rudolph one. It's always like a classic. Classic. My favorite part of that one is when he like flies up and his nose starts blinking and goes, she thinks I'm cute. I love that part. Um, but Rudolph is just like a classic one that I used to watch all the time and I just love it. It's just so adorable. I like the cartoon style of these like really old Christmas movies. It almost looks like claymation kind of. I don't know. I think it's really cool and I just love Rudolph. I also love the song. So I guess that plays a factor as well. Number eight is the movie Just Friends with Ryan Reynolds. So this is actually Ryan Kreischak's favorite Christmas movie. And he he always is like, come on, you guys have to watch all this stuff. He's like, this is my favorite one. And so I watched it and it was amazing. It's very, very funny. Uh, I think it's probably like an early 2000s like Christmas movie. And I don't know. I just think the whole concept is so funny. So it's about um, Ryan Reynolds, he like moves to LA and he like gets like super ripped and like, comes back to like his hometown with like this like ditzy like model girlfriend or like singer or something. And then he like really likes his like best friend from high school who he like asked out, but she was like, you're just a friend. She's just a friend, you know? But like now he's just like the worst person ever. And he like tries to act like an idiot like around her when she just wants him to like be him. I don't know. The movie's amazing. It's very funny. It's more of like a comedy Christmas movie, which I really like because most of them aren't. And I just think overall, I was very entertained by this. So go watch it if you haven't already, just friends. Number seven. So I don't watch this anymore, but I have to put it on the list because when I was younger, it was the only Christmas movie I would watch. It's called Eloise at Christmas time. Oh my gosh, I wanted to be Eloise. So this whole story is she lives in New York City. She lives in this hotel with her grandma and she's like this the biggest troublemaker ever. And she just wants her parents to like come back and see her for Christmas. And she just runs around the hotel and does whatever she wants. And she like, like, is like presents everywhere. Like she's always dressed up in these cute little dresses with like her red like headband. 
and I just wanted to be Eloise. Like little me wanted to be Eloise all the time. So I was uh, absolutely obsessed with this movie. It, I used to watch it when it was on TV and then my parents actually bought me the DVD of it because I loved it so much that I would watch it all the time. So Eloise at Christmas time, that's number seven. Number six is actually a Christmas movie that I just recently watched that I've been meaning to watch for a very long time. It is The Christmas Chronicles. So I just grouped together like one and two because I watched them back to back, but honestly, I like number one more. Christmas Chronicles, it's very, very good. It's, it's a pretty cute movie. It's like about these two kids who um, stay up late, like trying to catch Santa on like videotape and they actually do it. And then they get stuck in his sleigh and he accidentally like flies them back to the North Pole with him. It's very fun. Um, and they help him like deliver presents all night. It's the cutest movie ever. I don't remember who plays Santa Claus in it. It's somebody very famous, but they do such an amazing job of being Santa Claus. I, I, it's probably one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. I just realized I forgot to put the Santa Clauses on here. Well, crap. I'll put this in as a bonus. I really like the Santa Clauses. I really like the one with Jack Frost. I literally just forgot to put it on the list. So that can be like a bonus number. This can be like number five and a half. Number five and a half is the Santa Claus is Jack Frost. I have to look up the name of it though. Okay, number five is Disney's Prep and Landing. I think this is probably the cutest Christmas cartoon to ever exist. So it's about, if you guys don't know, it's about these elves that come in and they help prep Santa to land his sleigh on the houses of people. And it is the most adorable Christmas cartoon I think I've ever watched in my whole entire life. And about the year that it came out, we were actually in Disney and they did like this whole prep and landing, like Disney Christmas extravaganza at Hollywood Studios. And it was the cutest thing I'd ever seen in my life. So I, I really enjoy prep and landing, mostly because it's a good, good Christmas movie, but also holds a special place in my heart because I actually got to see like the big Christmas thing that they did for it around the time when it came out at Disney, which was very cool. Number four, we have another classic, but kind of, but not really. Um, we have the Grinch, but the live action Grinch because Jim Carrey is a genius and the singer from The Pretty Reckless is Cindy Lou Who, which absolutely just blows my mind every time I say it out loud. I love the Grinch character. I love how popular the Grinch character is becoming this year because of that new cartoon. I also used to actually go see the play, The Grinch, every single year at the Warner Theater and at the library in Erie. I used to do like a Grinch production and I used to go see it every single year when I was little. I absolutely adore it. My favorite part of that movie is when she's in the wrapping room and she accidentally wraps herself in paper and the Grinch saves her and then he pulls her out and she goes, you're the, 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 and he looks at her and goes, the, 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 the Grinch. Like that's my favorite part of the whole entire movie. I think it's so funny. Number three, we have Christmas Vacation. Uh, this movie definitely holds a special place in my heart because my parents love this movie, specifically my dad loves this movie, and we always make the joke that it's really, really like our family because my dad is just like, uh, Clark and, you know, it's, it just like kind of relates to us a lot. Like, scene in the car, they're singing like Christmas carols at the beginning, like so funny. Audrey reminds uh, my parents a lot of me and Russ reminds my parents a lot of Ryan too. So it just kind of works out that it's like really funny when we watch it because we think about it like if that were us, we would probably be doing the same thing. Uh, so Christmas Vacation is number three. Also that song, it's that time, Christmas time is here. Everybody knows there's not a better time of year. Number two, we have A Year Without a Santa Claus. This is my favorite animated Christmas movie. This is the one with Heat Miser and Snow Miser for obvious reasons, this is the best one. You're telling me the Heat Miser Snow Miser duet is not the best Christmas duet you've ever heard in your life? Uh, I think you're wrong. I just love the movie. I love the, the Year Without a Santa Claus, like the little song where they're singing, they like, and they draw like their little pictures and like they're like crying and then Santa's like, I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't know, I think it's so adorable. I love, again, I just love that style of cartoon and I think this one is just so perfect. Um, perfectly like written, there's amazing songs in it that aren't like the traditional Christmas songs and like the characters are so adorable. I just love everything about it. All right, my number one favorite Christmas movie, I've actually talked about this if you were on my channel last year and used to watch my monthly favorites videos where I talked about 
things other than music too. You probably have heard of this movie. My number one favorite Christmas movie is the movie Holiday on Netflix. It's a Netflix original and it is about this girl who never has a date for Christmas. Anyways, she's very, very funny in the movie, but she meets this guy and she's like, we should just be each other's holiday dates. So whenever there's a, a holiday where you have to go interact with your family, you just bring this person and they're like your fake date. And obviously they end up like falling in love and actually dating, whatever. But the hilarity that ensues throughout the entire movie while they're like not dating is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I also just think it's so relatable to people like my age, like if you're in your early 20s or like late teens, early 20s, I think it's just like a very funny, relatable Christmas movie. And it surprises me that it's a Netflix original because I mean, not that their originals aren't good, but like that movie is absolutely fantastic. I think it does exactly what a holiday movie needs to do. It makes me laugh. It's like heartwarming at the end, but it's also like so relatable. It's not even funny. Um, so that is my favorite Christmas movie ever, Holiday. All right, guys, that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, today is day five of the 12 days of Christmas countdown. So we still have lots of days left. So I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload right now every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time all the way up until Christmas on December 25th. Bye, see you tomorrow.